And welcome back everybody. The National Weather Service has dedicated this week to educating you across the country on severe weather and how to prepare. Now Storm Team 10's Pamela Gardner explains what you need for a severe weather kit and what to do if we have a flash flood. It's severe weather preparedness week and all of us at Storm Team 10 want to make sure you have the right tools and tips necessary to keep you and your family safe. So first of all, have a severe weather kit ready with batteries, flashlight, first aid kit, weather radio, water and medication in case a severe thunderstorm strikes and does damage. Review your severe weather plan. This is a great week to do so and make sure you have a plan in place in case a tornado warning or a severe thunderstorm warning is in effect for your area. When severe weather strikes, place your car in the garage if possible. You want to keep it covered and away from any chance for wind damage or hail to hit your car. Secure outdoor objects such as umbrellas or patio furniture because wind gusts of about 40 to 45 miles per hour, which is under severe criteria, can lift those objects and carry them around. Stay tuned for weather updates. We'll keep you updated here at WTHI TV and at WTHITV.com. Now on to flash flooding. If you come across some standing water, turn around, don't drown. Also, if it's barricaded, don't drive around the barricades. They're there for a reason. Two feet of water can float a car, so you don't want to drive through it. Stay away from electrical wires, and six inches of water can sweep a person away. And the last tip, don't play in flood waters. For more information on how to stay safe during severe weather, visit our website, WTHITV.com.